Our units converging There's on no the hospital in central. The bridges are closed. It's, it's more than enough. This is a very real more danger. More than enough. There's not enough vaccine. No, let me stop away. you there. This is not a panic situation. It's the time prior to the green poison. April lives with her husband, William Kelleher, Bill for short, in an apartment in Brooklyn. For her birthday, he gifted her a copy of the New York Collapse book. In it was a note from Bill. Moving ahead in time is the 23rd of November, the national holiday of everything America stands for. It's Black Friday, of course. A day of greed, and at the core of it, money. Without knowing it, the people are digging their own grave by spreading the so-called dollar flu that was resting on the surface of the banknotes. From there, it will jump to human skin, to the food they are eating, and like that, spreading on and on. By the time patient zero feels the first symptoms, millions are already infected. From this point, the breakdown will happen fast. Day one, hospitals will reach capacity. Panic will strike. Day two, quarantine zones will be established. Resources will be rationed. Transport will go into lockdown. Zooming in on Manhattan, it's now December 3rd. April couldn't get a hold of Bill and was worried about the outbreak and decided to go to his office in Manhattan. Upon April's arrival, Bill came running out of the front door with two other people, presumably colleagues. Two vehicles screeched up front and men in military fatigues began to open fire on them. April stopped in her tracks. She couldn't move as her husband got shot right in front of her. What had just happened? Did Bill really get murdered? Was he liquidated by armed men? Bill did work as a biochemist at the Sequence Biotech Group a company performing bioinformatic analysis and making them available for institutes working on molecular biology, for example. Bill had to have a connection to the virus. But how? Was he working on something that could have something to do with the virus? Was the government after him? It was all a big blur. April was still in shock. So, as police arrived on the scene, she could only watch as her husband's body was being put in the coroner's van and the police taped off the crime scene. There was another man in the van, a doctor. He seemed familiar, but April couldn't quite put her finger on it. Still, she didn't think too much of it at the time. How could she? Not really knowing what to do, April went on to call the police, asking to talk to a detective. After a while on hold, she managed to get a hold of one, Nina Di Giovanni. She told her what she saw when it arrived at the crime, but to her surprise, no police report had been made on the case. So the detective wasn't of any help, and she hung up. So what to do now? There wasn't much she could do at that moment except going home. But to make matters worse, she couldn't get back to her home in Brooklyn, as the quarantine in Manhattan had reached full effect. The subway had closed. She was trapped on Manhattan, angry, scared and confused. Luckily, she has a friend in the neighborhood, Eva, if she could find her. The next couple of days, April stayed at Eva's place at Grand Plus Wooster at least until the situation blown over. But there was no reason to think it would get better, and it didn't. That's when she started writing in her book, as if it was a diary, hoping it would help her process this whole thing. Day three, international trade will stop. The oil will dry up, the stock market will collapse. It's December 4th, more people are getting sick while the government tries to maintain control over the situation. The quarantine on Manhattan is clamping down tighter and tighter. April managed to find a cop and told him what happened to Bill. But the officer told her that the authorities were too busy guarding hospitals and locking down other areas of Manhattan. So she didn't have to look to the police for help. April didn't have much left. Her keys, $1500 in cash, she managed to withdraw, basic girl things and at the bottom of her purse, the book she got from Bill. Reading it almost seemed ironical now even funny, but of course it wasn't. It's December 5th.
as the chaos ensues, everything seemed to happen quicker and quicker. Day four, the power will fail, the shells will be empty, the taps will run dry. It's December 6th, and as the power fails across the city, people are panicking more and more. People didn't start to loot yet, but panic buying and riots were starting to occur. The next day, December 7th, Eva starts spiking a fever and coughing until she nearly chokes. After a few coughing attacks, she stabilized, but it was unsure for how long. Sarah, or Catastrophic Emergency Response Agency, gave instructions to remain inside and promised vaccine teams were heading their way. But no help came. It is now December 8th and Eva has developed blisters all over her body. Disease Control Department, or DCD, confirmed the virus was a variant of the smallpox. As Eva got worse, it's now December 9th and Eva passed away. Unable to contact her family, April leaves her body wrapped in a sheet on her bed. The day after, despite the death of her friend, April stays at Eva's place. With the help of Eva's neighbors, she carried Eva's body outside and duct taped her driver's license to her body. As it was rumored, Sarah was picking up bodies with refrigerator trucks and storing them at Hudson Yards. On December 11th, April is out in the city as the police and National Guard are setting up barriers. A riot broke out and she had to hide in a nearby restaurant. After the riot, she spoke to a Sarah employee who mentioned that the Madison Square Garden provided shelter and served as a distribution point. And while this may have been the case, we know not long after it was taken over by rioters. April 2 was unsure of this advice as the book strongly advised against going to public places with lots of people, and she turned out to be right. As she returned to Eva's place, April was unsure of what to do or where to go. She decided to sleep on it. But the next morning, things would take a turn for the worse. 